Hi guys, today we will go over four of the most interesting ideas from the book The Five Second Rule by Mel Robbins. There aren't many books that become super well known and New York Times bestsellers while having just one simple concept behind them. This is one of those and I'm very happy to be able to share this with you today, so let's begin. Mel says, Right before we are about to do something that feels difficult, scary or uncertain, we hesitate. Hesitation is the kiss of death. You might hesitate for just a nanosecond, but that, that's all it takes. That one small hesitation triggers a mental system that's designed to stop you. And it happens in less than, you guessed it, 5 seconds. There is a trick here. The quote is not about the rule of the book, that's just how you overcome the subject here, which is hesitation. Why do we hesitate? What makes normal people like you and me hesitate? The correct answer is, it depends. If it's about bungee jumping and we are not a big fan of heights, we hesitate because we are afraid. But we can hesitate for multiple other reasons, self-doubt, we don't want to embarrass ourselves, procrastination, lack of prioritization, and many others. Hesitation is basically a tiny moment of non-action. You don't see hesitation in an athlete while he or she is running for the Olympic medal because the athlete's mind isn't given the time to hesitate. This person has to use all his or her energy to fuel the body so the mind is in a mode where it cannot question things. Generically speaking, our brain is part of who we are. You take the brain out and you are dead. The problem is that we know very little about how it works, but we are smart enough to realize that sometimes, because of the historical evolution, it doesn't help us in certain contexts, so we need to find ways to go around it. Mel Robbins came up with the 5 second method and from the personal experience I have, I can tell you that it works amazingly. Basically, from the moment you are aware of an action you have to make, you count backwards and when you reach one, you get up and do it. In 5 seconds flat, you made what she calls a hard first decision. The one trigger means that you actually flip the nanosecond from fear and doubt which is non-action, to decision-making, which is action. You ignore your fears and let, let your courage and your confidence speak for you. Why do it by counting backwards? Mel comes with the explanation. Later I would learn that when you count backwards, you mentally shift gears in your mind. You interrupt your default thinking and do what psychologists call assert control. The counting distracts you from your excuses and focuses your mind on moving in a new direction. One moment of courage can change your day. One day can change your life. And one life can change the world. That's the true power of courage. It reveals you. The greatest version of you. Let's suppose you follow the instructions and when you reach one, you move your ass off the couch and start doing 25 push-ups as you planned to do before you went to sleep. So what? For some people, waking up at 5 am comes easily, while for others mornings are a nightmare but they don't have problems avoiding unhealthy food. We are all different, but we all have some things which are uncomfortable and one of the best methods to override the mental barrier and do them is momentum. Because you had a hard time going to the gym and following a schedule for one month, once you do that for 5 days in a row, you feel great. You start to see yourself as someone who goes to the gym, someone who decided that the gym is a good thing for his or her health, and no matter what, you'll find time to exercise. So, momentum is growing, you start to hate it less, then you start to feel fine, and hopefully, you reach the moment when you fall in love with it. You can't imagine your life without it, and you can't believe how stupid you are for not seeing this your entire life. In case you didn't realize, this is how you can change anything in your life, and in the process, the result will be changing your life for good. 
This is how powerful momentum is when it comes to approaching an activity or a thing you dislike and you'd like to change. Brené Brown said, you can choose courage or you can choose comfort, but you cannot have both. Now that you know the two most important concepts from this book, you are ready to meet an old friend. Its name is Frustration. It's 6 am, your alarm starts ringing, you turn it off, after 3 seconds you realize what happens, and 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, nothing. You fell asleep in the meantime. At 7 am, you wake up and you realize you failed miserably. Now what? When it comes to meditation, one of the iron rules is to avoid frustration when your mind doesn't stand still. When your mind wanders, you have to accept the situation as it is and basically let it calm down in order to be able to make one step forward later. It's the same with Mel's rule. Anyone can get angry because things didn't go as planned, but you need to be smarter and see the greater good in this. You are not here to conclude that it doesn't work. If it worked for lots of people and it's common sense, it will work for you as well. You are here to generate a significant change and this takes time because it's a process. Do you think there are people who change important aspects of their life fast and hassle-free without issues? There aren't. Here is what the author herself says. Do I get nervous? Absolutely, every single time, but here is the trick, I don't call it nerves, I call it excitement, because physiologically anxiety and excitement are the exact same thing. Let me say that again, fear and excitement are the exact same thing in your body. The only difference between excitement and anxiety is what your mind calls it. Here is a super exciting idea. Doing the work to improve your life is simple. You can do it and it's work you want to do. Because it's the most important work there is. It is the work of learning how to love and trust yourself enough to stop waiting and to start leaning into all the magic, opportunity and joy that your life, work and relationships have to offer. This is the big picture of Mel's book. This is where we can get by adjusting one thing at a time with the help of some small tricks like the 5 second rule. If we don't have time to plan these changes, what do we actually do with our time? Many people have no time because they wait for something. A sign, the perfect moment, next week or next year. The fact is we rarely take our time to put our life in perspective to see what we would like to change and how we plan to do that. We have some vague idea about what we would like tomorrow, maybe for our next holiday, but not for our life. Consequently, we have difficulties getting anywhere because it's hard to arrive to a place when you don't know where you are now. One thing we need in order to start this adventure is to appreciate ourselves enough so when we think or say my happiness is important, we will not feel awkward. If we can do that, most of the next elements are systems and small changes which can be done by following different recipes. I will end this video by sharing you one of the quotes I love the most, a quote from Joseph Campbell which is present in the book as well. The cave you fear to enter holds the treasure you seek. Guys, this was it for today. I hope you found this interesting and I recommend you read the book as well because as I told you in the past, what is interesting to me might not be interesting or useful to you. If we manage to provide some value, kindly like and subscribe by clicking the bell button as well so you won't lose any of our future animations. In the description below, you can find the links to our social media accounts where we post content every day. If this was a waste of your time, kindly dislike and comment because your feedback will help us to become better. Until next time, stay fearless!